there are reports the Securities and Exchange Commission is investigating at least five Hollywood movie studios about dealings with Chinese government officials. John Ehrlichman is back in the newsroom monitoring that story for us. John? And Emily, all we know is the SEC is reportedly investigating the dealings studios have with Chinese government officials, more specifically, whether or not there have been inappropriate payments made, as in bribes. And for more on this, I'm joined by Macon Del Rahim, a former Deputy Assistant Attorney General for the Department of Justice Antitrust Division. He's in Los Angeles. Macon, we hear all the time about SEC investigations. Explain to us what might be happening behind the scenes. Well, what's, uh, what this seems like it is is a, just a civil investigation. Other th otherwise, we would have learned about DOJ subpoenas as well. And what they're looking at is under the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, which the government has gotten super aggressive on recently with um, almost every industry. And now it seems like it's Hollywood's turn for them to look into this. And this comes right on the heels of uh, about two months ago when the industry was uh, very jubilant about these new... Um, deals that they have with the Chinese government to gain access to the Chinese market. So then they'd be looking at the ways by which U.S. studios found a way to get more of their films into China then? They'd specifically how that, how that came about? What, what they'll be looking to is to see if there have been any payments made by either employees or intermediaries by the Hollywood studios to the Chinese officials, uh, the government uh, officials in exchange for the new business openings. Um, that's, that's what they're looking at, and they might have some uh, evidence to have opened up an investigation into this. I'm sure um, all the big players who have been cutting deals in China, joint ventures, etc., including Disney, uh, are seeing these headlines and wondering what this means for those new projects that we've pushed into. Um, what does it mean? Well, it would be a real shame if it threw cold water on the industry's efforts to expand into uh, the huge Chinese market. I know that it's opened up a lot of avenues, not only for the major studios, but for a lot of independent film producers um, and, move, and filmmakers uh, who are excited about the new market it provides. Um, what it could mean is that people are going to be a lot more uh, hesitant about entering the Chinese market or dealing with the government partly because of the, what seems to be an over-aggressive nature by the, uh, by the U.S. regulators in looking at some of these transactions. The law, there have been some complaints by the U.S. Chamber and others about the breadth and the vagueness uh, of some aspects of the law. And, um, and I think, you know, that sometimes can have an adverse effect of punishing U.S. business than really uh, trying to protect uh, clandestine conduct. But as you said, I mean, this is something that uh, regulators are doing with all sorts of businesses, not Hollywood. So what, what would be the key difference in determining whether or not this truly does uh, slow down the, the growing relationship between Hollywood and China? You know, I don't know if there's going to be a major difference. What it is is because of the implications, not only are there fines, civil fines, uh, but bars to future dealings with government um, and, and also in certain cases in criminal instances, prison terms, uh, the, the various companies reach settlements with the government and don't really test the law. Um, I don't know what will ultimately happen and what will uh, end up happening in these investigations. We just have to wait and see what the, how the studios respond. But it certainly will make uh, their dealings with foreign government officials um, a lot more careful. In your experience, how long can these kinds of investigations last? Oh, they can last upwards of a uh, of you know over a couple of years, uh, depending on how deep they can go. They can uh, focus on not only the companies but employees, uh, boards, board members, um, as well as agents. You know, if somebody has bought a foreign um, subsidiary or has entered into a joint venture, uh, a lot of those organizations uh, can be found to be targets of the investigation. And then depending on what kind of evidence they find, it could reach into um, a criminal investigation and that could go on for a, for a while. That would be the key thing to watch for. Macon, thanks a lot for your time. That's Macon Del Rahim at our LA Bureau and Emily, we'll send it back to you.